Hello y'all, Boogie Knight here, and welcome to another Let's Look At. Tonight we're playing Down to Hell, which is a side-scrolling hack slash kind of Souls-like game. It is currently available for purchase on Steam, so if you'd like what you see, I'll put a link in the description below. Um, I've had this on my Steam wishlist for quite some time, because like any Souls-ish game, or a game that's kind of a Souls-esque, or, you know, soul exploitation game I'm fascinated by, um, so I thought let's take a little bit of a glance at this. This was given to me by Ms. Cat Max, so thank you so much, Cat. I really do appreciate it. Um, I'll actually put a link in the description below as well to her YouTube page so you can check out what she does. She's a fantastic narrator. Um, I've only played a few minutes of this off-camera to kind of get a lay of the land for things, so with that being said, let's dive right into a new hell, shall we? Well, yeah. There we go. I am playing with a controller, so using Blood Rush needs stamina, which generates over time. Cool. I think... All I know about this is some sort of nameless knight. Okay. So look at the graphics so far. He was in this forest for the first time, but felt no fear. Only blood. He felt it everywhere. In the air. Between the blade of the grass. On the bark of the trees. At long last, he felt like home. Okay. Adventure deeper. Oh god, this part. Um, there we go. This part, I died quite a bit early on. So, there we go. So, I'm using a keypad for this, so swiping using my X key. B is Blood Rush, which is the dash thing. Um, okay, that's a stamina over swipe. We'll learn things as we go. Okay, so light attacks, heavy attacks, combinations. Okay, here we go. So the enemies, from what I can tell so far, come in waves. Yeah, kind of definitely getting a Salt and Sanctuary vibe, or maybe, um, um, what's that other game by, what's it called, by, um, Scott Studios, the developers that Salt and Sanctuary, um, uh, Dishwasher, Vampire Spot, hang on, what was that over their heads again? Oh, okay, so apparently with the right tap, you can do some sort of maybe a finishing move? I don't know. Graphics, I love it. The graphics were taught, or not the graph. Well, hey, I do love the graphics, but the music's really cool too. It said it's for the heavy metal person in each of us. After the start of an opponent's attack, to parry it. That was great. Okay. Um. Oh, okay, there's the parry. We're just gonna go ahead and just go crazy. Left to cast a spell. Okay. Okay, well, I don't want to turn into Mincemeat in the first bit. If you have a magic button, I guess that's the blue, is like my mana or my magicka or whatever I call it. Burn them alive, okay. Love to use a potion. Um Oh hey, okay, cool. Oh hey. Okay, so there we go. I've always played tanks in any kind of RPG slasher souls game. That's just my nature. Go straight in. Take your business. Victory. Um, there we go. Oh, then we're dead. Wait for my game over. Okay. Welcome to Dark Souls, y'all. Those traps deal damage intervals, make use of it. Okay. There we go. Okay. Oh, don't you dare do that again now. There we go. Um. He left his world with everything behind dreams, ambition, faith, love, hope. In this world, there were no such things. This almost got a Dante esque atmosphere. Home, a land filled with demons, and he was one of them. Did Night Springs. No, wait, hang on. That was, uh. That's, uh, hell. That's, uh, Alan Wake. Okay, here we go. Wave one. I hope that the. This changes up a little bit. Like, we don't. We, this is still the tutorial stage, so, I mean. Oh, Snapdragon. Overhead swing. Chop, chop, kids. Oh, that's really cool. I like that we can um, do the dash attack over there. We've got to keep an eye on our green. I don't just need my wall, thank you very much. I wonder... I'll try some beer with me. Um, well, okay, I'm not going to do one right now, because I'm kind of getting mobbed. You know what? Here we go. Okay, so we do a dash, then an attack combo. We can... Uh, we can kind of... We can't really plow through the enemies in a straight line, but we're gonna use that a good way to kind of get things 
Finishing move. Gosh. Okay. The land of sorrow and horror lived a nameless one. Filled with rage and obsession, he did not know the Lord, nor bow to none. War was the only thing he knew. Darksiders? His armor was his only protection. Fury was guiding him through his life. His sword was an extension of his arm. But this fight was soon to end. His armor blocked his breath. Huh? His sword felt heavy. Death was close. He was ready to meet his fate. Okay, so some uh, Yet, out of the darkness came a light. The monsters have fled, and his wounds were cured. He was saved. Beatrice? But another abomination appeared out of the mist. And then, his savior needed to be saved. This fight was not over yet. Yikes. I gotta see some Darksiders references to the graphics. Okay, so now we're exactly where, as far as I've gotten before I decided to record this. So I never even saw this storyline, by the way. So chapter one, Nightmares Made Flesh. I purposely, when I decided I was gonna do this for the channel, for the project, I decided to skip the storyline. Let's try something. Up, oh, up. Nope. Ramity. Okay, um. Come on, let's go for finishing. Okay, that didn't do much, but that's okay. We do a little stabby stab. I'm cool with that. Hey, come back here. I won't hurt you. Oh, wait, that's a lie. Uh. Oh, no, 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 no. So that's a trap. Let's go ahead and avoid that. I wonder if the enemies can get caught in those. We got five potions. We might as well use them at some point, but I'm not just yet. Okay. I want to see some changes in enemies. But all in time. I'll get thanks to this. Wait, Clarice. Here, kids. There we go. Whoa! Nope. Damn it to hell. Combat's a little monotonous, but I do like how things zoom out and zoom in depending on how quick the proximity is to the enemy. And poo gas. Who are you? Hey, hey there. Don't bother me, old man. I'm not in the mood right now. Temper, temper. Oh, I saw what you did there. I have to say, your style of fighting is quite outstanding. But of course. What? Tell me, old man. But of course you would have died if it was not for a girl. I did not need her. She interfered in matters that did not concern her. And now she's abducted, maybe killed by that demon. It's all thanks to you. Oh, come on, don't guilt the Catholic. You annoy me, old man. <laughs> you better stop doing that or you'll be lying there among the bodies of those demons. Of course, sorry about that. But you have to admit that we are facing a strange situation here. Some would say that because she saved you, now you have to do everything to repay the debt. Fine, I will kill every demon that will stand in my way, and I will save her. But not because I have to. I will show you that I don't need anybody's help. Certainly, I think that huge demon went that way. I guess you're right. If you hurry up, you can still catch them. You don't understand something, old man. I'm not going to run after them. They should run away from me. Let's see what else he has to say. Did you found did you found the girl? Not yet, but I will. Okay. The reason they called the girl Beatrice? What is this? Okay, so Okay. So this is a level up thing. So we've got blood flow, extra HP for 15,000. You only have 500 HP, it makes sense. Uh blood power. People using sorceries, power of your mind, blood rush, the power of might. But, okay, so that's extra HP, magic points, okay, and stamina, that's cool. Um, you know, magic, weapons, and 
Anatomy of Man. That's since equipped. We gotta unlock these. Funeral Forest, okay. Journal. Possessed. Okay. These are enemies coming up, I guess. Story, okay. Arson. Huh. Yeah, I'll take a look at this later on. This is all backstory, I'm guessing. A Blaze in the Northern Sky. Oh my god. Wasn't that... Blaze in the Northern Sky. That's a black metal album. I think it... Oh, that's gonna bother me what that's from. It, was a, it could be Mayhem. It could be Immortal. I need to look this up. For the black metal fans that are watching this, which are probably none of you, let me know what that's from. I think... I want to say it's Mayhem or Seder Icon. I don't know. It could be Seder Icon. Okay. Onward and upward. Um, that's magic. Okay. No. I was wondering what that skull with the inverted cross is. What in the world? Okay. Caco demons. Hooray. Um, I don't know what that was. Oh, it's hurting me. Never mind. Derp. Sitting like an idiot. Um, the grunting was me. I was too fascinated by the background. More dudes. Just survive. Okay. That's cool that there's different challenges now. I can dig that. Reminds me a little bit of the Just Survive from, uh, what was that game I played a long time ago? Winter Voices. It's a shame that a game didn't take off. Um, I'll figure out how to use potions after the next... Now, I guess. Um, is it... There we go. Using the left bumper. He didn't know how he got his skills. The only thing he remembered was the day when he used them for the first time. He was still a child when someone ambushed him. The boy shouted and fought, but he was quickly repowered. With every second his anger grew. The man was speaking to him with a strange language he couldn't understand, but noticed a knife in his hand. The boy screamed once more. The light filled the entire alley. The next thing he saw was the body of a man lying at his feet, Lovely. with his skin melted and face burning to bone. Okay, so, nope. Oh, thank Christ. Anyways, so Beatrice. Beatrice is the love of Dante, who pretty much guided him through half of the Purgatorio. And, um, the entire Paradiso. So, if this is anything Dante asks, which I am guessing, then. Ah, Hell's Monkeys. Oh, we're gonna fight on the bridge. Brilliant. Hell's Monkeys, oh god. Okay, get rid of the spinners. Relay can wait. Okay. Off you. Three, two, one, break. Oh, sod you too. I kind of like that these zombie things do mimic your actions. That is pretty cool. So if you jump, they jump. I'm already just liking these floating dudes. Because, I mean, they deal contact damage, but then they also spit stuff at you. Come here. I just want to carve you up and use you as pauldrons. Alright, stay down. So, yeah, it's simple, but... Okay, there we go. So, just stay... Nope. Ah. Oh, bloody idiot. Okay, so, gotta keep my eyes on these things, because these are the potion refills. Let's go ahead and tap one more. Because I think five is our cap. Possessed. Okay, that's what these tree things are. Okay, um... Ooh, hang on. Locations. Funeral Forest Part 2. We have 2200 XP. That's grand. We still can't do squat all with them. Magic. Nothing. 
none of these other things. Okay, onward and upward. Brilliant. Wait, hang on. Um. Oh! You can reload previous chapters. That's kind of cool. Come here. You damn dirty demon. Up and up. No, literally, this dash attack, because I didn't know you could dash up or to the side. I thought it was only in a lateral line. So... I literally was dashing to my death and the first pitfall. I mean, it really was a Welcome to Dark Souls experience. But you know what? Trail and death. But I do love these graphics. Once again, I'm digging this. Oh, don't you sodding dare. Um, jump over that blood pit. I don't know what that's for. Get my dash back up. Cool. My stamina. Kind of, I want to see more. I really hope... Then again, this game still is in early access, so... They'll probably tweak things a little bit more. But I do like doing some things early access because it does give you kind of a ground level way to see what's going on. And I've got a few games in early access I want to play. I just don't know if it's going to be for the channel or if it's just going to be for my own weird interest. Got a new healing potion. That's cool. Give me some healing. Brilliant. Third wave. Bring it on, bring it on, bring it on. Come here. Keep you from spitting fire at me. That's great. And now we can drop you. Fourth wave, eh? Hey, hey, hey. Now we're ramping up things. Oh, I didn't want to use the... Ah, sodding hell. There we go. Oh, well, we got our potion back anyway, so... Whatever. Huh, now the skull flattened out a little bit. Interesting. Um, whatever. Okay. We'll play this for a little longer. Let's see what transpires. Maybe get a boss fight in. Do something. There we go. Dash you. Stamina back up. I smell boss fight. Or not boss fight. Another wave. Almost with like just this waves of enemies before you proceed onto a new area. It could be kind of serious sandmask, albeit not as comedic. Like the damn uh, headless kamikaze. <laughs> oh. oh. Hose you off. Oh, I gotta finish your movement. Brilliant. I need to use my magic a bit here and there. Oh, you little stinkers. Okay, um. Nope. Gosh. Okay, left top bumper. Um, and, oh, that's the one. So left bottom bumper is the magic. Left top bumper is the potions. That's not confusing at all. Red glowing eyes proceed or repostable attack. I've heard repost, I've heard repost, I've heard riposte. I'm gonna stick with repost. Alright, so we'll play this a little bit more. Him in wars. At first, he served as an ordinary soldier. Everything has changed during the battle for Mura. The siege lasted many days and nights. During that time, Many people were mutilated or killed. Olin saw the particular terror among the defenders. He killed many good men. No one could match the strength of his mace. When the siege was close to an end, Olin stood before the gates Whoa. and said, You pathetic human beings, you should give up a long time ago. The blood of your fallen comrades is on your hands, Olin? not like mine. Like Welcome the city walls with disgust. I will give you one more chance to free the city. If any of you cowards decide to fight me and win, the city will be yours. But if he falls, and trust me, he will fall certainly, I will break through the walls and kill everyone. 
The time passed and Olin thought that no one is brave enough to fight him. But then the gates started to lower and he saw a man standing at the end of the city entrance. Olin smiled to himself and moved <laughs> That's about the most bad, that's great. He's finishing boots. Um, not enough. Oh, there we go. Come here, big daddy. I've got a brand new sword for you. A brand new body bag for you. Oh, sodding demons. Yeah. Here's the rest. Survive five more seconds. It's I take another day to bear with me. Victory. If this was Viva Melee, magic fingers. Oh, hello. You again. Who did you expect? Not important. Move. I want to fight something. Oh gosh. Oh, your next fight will be more difficult than others. Old man, no fight is difficult for me. It's not important if it's demon or human. Killing is in my blood. Remember that. I assure you've never faced something like Crimson before. Is there a Clover involved? Who? Crimson, one of the demons that emerged from the depths of hell. You should stop that nonsense, old man. Where's this Crimson that frightens you so much? You will meet him soon. Very soon. Okay. Crimson, eh? I think these purple things are checkpoints, so if you die, you go back there. This must be Crimson. A giant cockroach. Okay. Oh, damn it. He's not here, human. No one tells us anything. They despise us. I can see why. You're one ugly mother. Oh, fight words. Silence. Oh, damn it. Okay. Here's the soul's influence. Oh, now we're getting metal. Get in there. Demon Hunter? That was kind of cool. That was Demon Hunter. Oh, Sonic now. I didn't even mean to use my last potion, but now I'm definitely dusting the wind on this one. Um. There we go. Get your soul skill back. Oh, Snapdragon. Oh. Okay. Use that. There we go. Okay, come on, King Crimson. Oh, he's got the uh, little demons now. Oh, that was bad. Over spikes. What? Okay, we're about halfway there, Don, um, Bon Jovi style. It means we're starting to ramp up. Let's kill the mobs. There we go. There we go. Okay, he's giving birth. Hit. There we go, come on. Oh, sodding hell. Away from the poison. If he hits on you. Okay, so the vertical dash seems to be doing the trick. There we go. 
What? Okay, now we're getting our legs on this one, though, so that's okay. Still haven't found a chapel yet. Well, this gives us another gun place for about 30 minutes. We'll try this one more time, and then we'll see what happens. Maybe we can... We got our XP back. Brilliant. Okay, so we're just gonna go straight into the battle. That's cool. First blood, sucker. So let's... There we go. Okay, I think the best thing we should do is the vertical overhead shot. There we go. Oh, damn it. I don't want to do this. Okay, let's just get our Dark Souls back. Away from the green. Green means poison. Oh. Let's speed and serve it up. Get rid of the mobs. Okay, let's go ahead and pop the potion to be on the safe side. That could be Demon Hunter, I don't know. Oh, I tried to do a vertical dash. Oh, Sonic now. Nope, oh, you missed that. Oh. Nope. Oh, vertical dash. Okay. So, we got one potion left. I'm trying to kill these mods. Mobs, not mods. Three. Nope. I don't want to be overwhelmed. We gotta. Up, oh, over. Oh, crap, I missed that one. Away. Over. I need this to get rid of the mobs. Up, over. Okay. Motion up. There we go. Okay, we're getting there. Concentrate. And don't get poisoned. Up. What the hell was that? Okay, we're about where we were last time. Put up the halfway point. Up, over. Okay, um. We're dead. Okay, I think... This is probably a good place to stop as any. We've died twice. Uh, let's see what he has to say. But I do want to... I was born to stand this line until I die. Definitely Satan. I think this is a good place to stop as any, though. Um, yeah, no, um, for early access, it needs a little bit of tweaking. The dialogue, mainly. The attacks are okay. Some of the controls are a little bit shoddy. But all in all, this is a fun game. But like any Souls-like game, you have to be in the right mood to play it. Um, but let me know what you guys think. Um, let me know what you think in the comments below. Um, do you want to see more of this down the line? Because I wouldn't have any problem playing this for the project, more on. But 
My opinion doesn't matter, only y'all's does. So, anyways, with that being said, before I call it a night, if you like the Boogie Night Project and you want to find out more, I do have a Twitter page as well as a public Discord channel. Links to both of those are in the description below, as well as a link to my temporarily down Twitch page. And if you have some money you want to get rid of without giving it to a noble cause, my Patreon account. So otherwise, with that being said, I hope y'all have a fantastic evening, and I'll catch you on the flip side, alright? Peace.